Hey yo guys, what's up? He's your boy Aman here again with this new video and I hope that you enjoy the first, second and third video. Uh, as we're going on, please subscribe and leave your comments below and even like my page on Facebook. If you have any questions, any suggestions or special requests, feel free to contact me. Leave your comments. I will see what I can do about it. For this lesson, our verse is going to be Jeremiah 17, beginning verse 7. It says, But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its root by the stream it does not fear when heat comes its leaves are always green it has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit to trust in the lord god bless you so in this lesson uh, this lesson was requested by someone who chatted me on uh, on the page so please re I, I remind you if you have any question any special request feel free to contact me uh, leave your comments so this video requested this friend of mine from uh, and uh, he was asking me about what kind of chords progression do we normally use in worship and especially in the melody of praise and uh, when we have this free worship time what kind of uh, progression do we use what chords should should you use and uh, what chords uh, uh, it's uh, suitable to use in those kind of situations when we have free worship when we uh, are almost playing free and uh, just following uh, uh, the, the presence of the Lord so let's go let's go with the lesson number four so here we are with lesson number four and uh, in this lesson we're gonna talk about uh, in the previous lesson we talked about family keys and um, and you've seen that I started to call chords with numbers. So what does it mean? For an instance, we have key of D. So the scale of D, sorry. So the scale of D, it is uh, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. And every chord that we have in the family key of D, so we have D, E minor, F sharp minor, G, a, B minor, and then uh, C diminish. Okay, C sharp diminish. Sorry. So every chord in this in this uh, family key, uh, they can be translated in numbers. Um, for an instance, we have D as number one because that's the family. That's the root key, the root uh, chord for the key. So we have D as number one. As number two, going up with a scale, it's E minor going up it's F sharp minor so number three number four it's G number five is A number six is B minor and going on so uh, why do I use numbers why do I use numbers why I started to use numbers actually before I never used numbers but now I see uh, the importance of using numbers and how much easier it is to transpose songs with just the numbers uh, for an instance because in the band for an instance you have uh, players who plays guitars and sometimes they play with capo so they are actually playing in a different position so they're playing actually in a different uh, the same key but with different positions and um, so you have different players in the band and even if you transpose the song from for an instance you have the song in the key of E and then you go into key of F or you go into key of F sharp So if you use numbers, it's easier because you don't have to write again all the chords because you are aware that uh, you're playing the song. For instance, we have the song in the key of C. And we're playing this classic chord progression, which is C. One, then we have five, then we have six minor, or six, and then we have four. Okay, if I go in key of D, just go to one, okay, then I go to five, okay, then I have the six minor, and then I have the four, okay, so learn to use numbers because it's much easier than to transpose the song and even to say the chords to a guitar player or to someone else who is playing with you in the band um, so they will know that and teach this to your music team so it's gonna be easier for all of you um, to to just transpose the songs so what are now let's go to the main point the main point is uh, what are the classic chord progressions that we use in the worship music 
um, of course it's different from uh, songs to songs but we have um, almost the same type of um, progressions uh, one of the classical progression let's go in the key of G okay in the key of G we have one then we have four then we have six then we have five or sometimes going back to four so these are the classic chord progression one of the classic chord progression is it's one four six minor five and you will hear it a lot in worship music so you can go with six and five one four six and five okay and then sometimes you have some variation like for example you play one then you play uh, four then you play six minor and then you go back to four okay so there are some some variations um, yeah another chord progression that it's uh, very common it's uh, let's play in the key of E another progression that is very common is one six minor four and then five okay so it's one six four five so one six four a very common also uh, chord progression uh, that we have in worship music and um, yeah what are the fills that I'm using what are those if you remember if you didn't check the first videos I'm teaching about um, about the scales so scales I'm just using classic scale uh, major scale so in the key of E okay so I'm just playing the chords and, and I also explain about the inversion so just check the, the previous video if you didn't uh, watch it uh, so we got inversion of E then I'm playing inversion of A and I'm playing C sharp minor or C sharp minor 7 and then I'm playing okay 5 and I'm using some some scales So these are some chord progression. Another chord progression that is very common, it's a minor starting from a minor, starting from the 6, is very common in worship music. It's uh, starting from the 6. So let's go from uh, the key of D for an instance. We have, so I have the 6, 6 minor. Then I have uh, the 4. Then I have 1. Then I have 5. That's very common in worship music, you will hear it a lot. Starting from 6 minor, so this is B minor. Then I have 4, which is G in the key of D. Then I have 1. And then I have 5. Okay, I will just play some samples about these uh, chords. And um, uh, how to use it in... Uh, um, in a worship environment when someone is praying and uh, or the worship leader is just uh, going with uh, with the flow of the spirit so melody of praise and uh, stuff like that so for instance let's just play um, very basic uh, six uh, sorry let's start from four okay Then you go to five. Four again. OK, 
okay playing just four four five okay so that's very common in worship music in, uh, in those moments like that um, you can use just four and five over and over again uh, because remember when it's uh, time to pray when it's time to minister when it's time to um, let the let the Lord speak so don't don't overplay don't overplay especially in those moments when the pastor is praying or someone is praying don't overplay too much because if you start to do the same thing but with adding too much thing it's gonna be too much destructive so if you play the key of D so we play the same progression so we play Just play soft. If you, if you start to do, if someone is praying, you start to play like this. So it's not good, it's not good. Um, but of course, of course, there are times that you can uh, do a build up on the song, and I will teach this in the in the next videos. Um, yeah, build up on the song. Like for instance, we have. So if the pastor is praying stronger, but as much as possible, if the pastor is just praying, just play maybe with a pad, soft piano. So this is one of the classic chord progression. Another chord progression that we can use while someone is praying or someone is, uh, or just going in the spirit is just the four, and I use one over seven. Uh, sorry, one over three. So it's the over F sharp, and I go back to four, G, and the over F sharp. So that's another common uh, that you can use. You can go back to one. Then you can go back to six, uh, to five, sorry. Then go back to four. D over F sharp. Let's add more color. Let's go to six minor. Let's go to five. Four. Six minor. These are the classic chord progression that I use. So, a classic chord progression, the first is one. Even in uh, praise songs, uh, you will hear it a lot. Um, so, do you hear the chord progression? It's a uh, uh, one. Four, six, five. So, uh, yeah, that's a classic chord progression, and I just add like um, uh, this chord, a uh, three. And then I use a modulation a C, C major seven. And, okay, so um, yeah, basically those are the normal. Uh, for us. for instance, we have another song um, with a minor progressions. 
For example, we have. Uh, that's a very common. So we have six minor. always the same chords six five four and go go back to five then we go to chorus E one the, key, the song is in the key of E so the one is the E then we go to two So basically that's it and um, another thing is when you uh, enter to a song uh, when you go uh, for a key for an instance um, we always have this uh, very typical sound that we get when the worship leader cannot enter or something it's very part of the song it's going like for example we're playing the key of D before starting the song we use this uh, two chords uh, which is uh, four five just to let the person enter the song. So we have and then we are in the key of E, okay? For example we have and we're going to enter the song we have So we have this um, thing. Uh, normally it's always uh, 4 over 5. So in this case it's A over uh, B. And then we have the B, the, the normal uh, 5. Okay, so 4 over 5 and then 5. So you will hear it a lot when uh, it's going inside, when you're uh, entering the song. So the part to sing. We, al we always use this um, 4 over 5 and 5. Or four and five uh, especially when we go up on keys when we go up on keys and uh, for an instance we have this song um, so we'll start to this then it's starting to sing let's say you go up For instance, we have uh, uh, these parts where we're going up or we are trying to enter the song. We normally use this kind of uh, uh, chords. So yeah, so that's it. Um, classic chord progressions. If you have any more questions, any more requests, just feel free to ask. Okay, so as usual, I just want to leave you with this uh, part of the song. So get this.
Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram and on uh, Facebook. And uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to ask. If you have any uh, special requests, feel free to ask me to contact me. Thanks for watching and uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. We're doing it always, always, only for the glory of God. Only to the Lord, we the glory. So God bless us all. So see you next time again. Keep it up, stay on fire. Worship warriors, worship kiss. God bless you.